Hi, this question today is for Octavian and Preston. Um, they wanted to know a little bit about beet making and how to make it more organic or uh, natural filling and not so on the grid and straightforward. Um, so I have a battery kit here in Ableton Live. And um, really the trick, I think there's, there's a lot of things that you can do to make drum programming a little bit more organic. One is using lots of kicks and snares. Um, so instead of just having one kick and one snare, maybe using a couple. Here in this kit I have five. And you can hear how it progressively gets a little bit more open and it has a hi-hat with it. One's tighter. It's a little bit of a pitch difference. So you have a little bit more of a change there. And then a couple of snares. Um, I tend to have actually a couple of battery kits in each one of my sessions, um, sometimes even generative weird loops in Reactor that I'll then print um, into a recording on um, Pro Tools and then cut it up even more and manipulate it more. So sometimes I'll use a battery kit and sometimes I'll use other things. Uh, don't be afraid to do velocity curves too when you're programming. So if you have like a drum roll, you can... Um, slowly bring up the velocity, but it's a kind of good idea to not play with the velocity too much on the kick and snare, and everything else can be kind of nice. Um, also there's groove templates that you can uh, download, and they're just um, designed to quantitize your programming, and it'll shift your, your programming a little bit, so it gives it more of a groove, and it's not quite on the grid. So those are the few suggestions I have for today. I hope that's helpful.